This is the most rigged game that I've ever seen in my entire life. T.Y. about to catch the ball. He runs into him with his shoulder. How is that not P.I.? And Rocky Sin could have gotten a pick six. Offensive pass interference, but no, we're not going to call that because Pittsburgh is football, apparently. We outplayed them every single down. And then their comeback, assisted with two big pass interference calls against the Colts, when they weren't even pass interference calls. This is the most idiotic game I have seen since Purdue versus Minnesota. How? I ask you how is that not pass interference on the defense against T.Y. on that last play? near the goal line. How? Pittsburgh fans, please explain how. Because even Pittsburgh fans know that is pass interference. Anybody who has watched the NFL knows that is pass interference. You know, uh, Ben Roethlisberger, I hope you write your love letters to the refs for how much they just loved you. You know, you better read off your love letters to the refs on your radio stations that you love to complain about your teammates on. But no, the, Ben Roethlisberger is probably not going to complain about his teammates on any radio stations today because they got bailed out by the refs. He's going to go on and be like, yeah, I raped a girl last night. That's nothing. Um, so yeah, we won. Not at all because the refs, you know, Juju, just Corvette, Corvette, you know, best receiver in the game. Um, you know, he's just uh, definitely wasn't favored by the refs at all. We definitely didn't pay them at all. We definitely didn't ask Roger Goodell to um, help us at all on that one. That that never happened. Um, yeah. We had that game won. And pass interference defense on the Colts. Pass interference defense on the Colts led to a touchdown. Uh, they weren't pass interference. Uh, how about that Naheem Hines uh, play, though? where it was like 60 yards and it was very close to the end zone we probably would have scored off of it but the weakest block in the black in the block in the back foul that I've ever seen in my entire life that's idiotic you know Pittsburgh fans if you could please explain to me um or just people could somebody anybody explain to me how any of those are are penalties cuz they're not And the Pittsburgh defense getting all hyped going like, yeah, 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 the refs just helped us. We paid them $1,000. Let's go. So stupid. The Pittsburgh Steelers are the most insufferable team that I've ever witnessed in the game of football. Their celebrations, insufferable. Their quarterbacks off field, whatever he does, insufferable. Their receiver, who used to be a pro bowler, but now has fallen to mediocrity because Corvette Corvette, insufferable. Eric Ebron dropping balls because ever since he left the Colts, insufferable. Oh yeah, Eric Ebron, he, he, yeah, sure, he caught balls uh, against the Colts today. Sure, we'll go with that, yep. Their team celebrations, insufferable. The, them paying off the refs. Insufferable. I, I hope that the Titans lose to the Packers. I mean, we're still in the playoffs. We're 10-5, and five, tied with the Dolphins for the seventh seed. So, if, if we lose to Jackson, if uh, the Titans win, there's no way we get the division. And if we lose to Jacksonville... We're definitely not making it into the playoffs. I actually get to go to the Jacksonville game. We'll see how that goes. But right now, um, I think right now, I feel like taking a vacation to Pittsburgh, um, walking onto Heinz Field, and pissing on the logo. Yeah, that sounds like the right thing to do at this moment. You know, Juju wants to dance on logos, I think I'll piss on them. Seems like the best thing to do. Because if you're going to 
disrespect other teams' logos. I'm going to do it to yours. And if you're going to pay off refs to help you win this, you know what? I'm going to freaking pay off refs too. I don't care. This is stupid. I hope Roger Goodell um, gets in a car crash. This is the this is the stupidest um, officiating that I've ever seen in my life. The refs might be on the spectrum. You never know. Um, I'm just I'm done. I, I might be smiling right now, but I'm dying on the inside because that was the most idiotic um, performance that I've seen from NFL referees. And those guys are getting paid good money to do what they do. And they're sucking at it. So, that's nice. Um, so stupid. There are so many chances. Rock you sin. That was supposed to be a pick. No call. T.Y. Hilton. Pass interference. No call. And that is on, like, two other ones, too. There were at least three times. At least he got a pass interference call, finally. That's one out of four. Um, last time they showed the graphic... Uh, the Colts had 78 penalty yards to the Steelers 40. I'm sure the Colts one is probably up to 80 and the Steelers one is up to 50, but that's still 80 penalty yards that they benefited from um, on pass interference calls mostly that weren't pass interference. So that's nice. That's nice. And you know what, Steelers fans? I'm sure that there are loyal Steelers, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, I am, it is a fact that there are loyal Steelers fans that have been there through the ups and downs, um, but there are also bandwagons there who are going to comment on this video talking about, oh, you know, 12 and, what are they, 3 now, 12 and 3, 12 and 3, you know what, just shut up if you're a bandwagon Steelers fan, because I've bled these colors for as long as I've been alive. I've been with the Colts through the ups to the downs. I was there, uh, well, I wasn't like at the stadium. I was a Colts fan the moment I was born. A Colts fan, Peyton Manning got injured. Colts fan when Andrew Luck got drafted. Colts fan when we lost in 2014 to Tom Brady deflating his balls. Colts fan in 2017 when we just utterly sucked. Colts fan um, in 2018 when we, when we started 0-5. Colts fan in 2018 when we shocked everyone and made us the wild card. Colts fan in 2018 still when we lost to the Chiefs. Colts fans in 2019 when Jacoby Brissett was there. And I'm still a Colts fan now. Unlike bandwagon Steelers fans who have been changing jerseys more than, I don't know, a journeyman quarterback, freaking Ryan Fitzpatrick. They've been changing jerseys more than Ryan Fitzpatrick. I can't wait. I'm, I'm actually genuinely excited because there's a YouTuber called uh, Urinating Tree who does sports stuff, and he's a Steelers fan, and, a Tory, and even though he's a Steelers fan, he hates them because they get bailed out on stuff like this. So I'm interested to see his This Week in Sports Ball and see what he says, because they got they got bailed, and I'm hoping that he says that they got bailed. That way people it's brought to people's attention by, you know, a big YouTuber that the Steelers got bailed out. Yeah. And it'd be, it would be actually cool if my rant got featured on that, and that'd be kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. Just, I don't want to drive off, off a steep cliff right now. It's, it sucks. I'm, I'm done. I'm going to watch the Pacers game next at 8 o'clock.